Good morning everyone. Kasumai. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray. O oh God, you have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son. Be pleased, we pray, to nourish and nurture by your word, that with spiritual sign made poor, we may rejoice to behold your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the bright cloud, the Father's voice, his earth. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white such as no one on earth could bless them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three drawings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elisha. Peter did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what is rising from the dead could mean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the period of Lent is a preparation that aims to all of us to celebrate with favor the Paschal mystery of Jesus. There is therefore a need to to know Christ in his double mystery of suffering and glory. So, among those called to the first follow him, Jesus chose three privileged people, Peter, James, and John. To them, after the master's retreat in the desert, where he was tempted by the force of evil and his demons, he gives them the opportunity to get to know him better by letting himself by by letting himself be transfigured on, on the mountain of Tabor. He manifests in all his glorious divinity. It is a true revelation of his deep identity as a son of God the beloved one of the Father above. 
this all the more important after the misunderstood announcement by his people about his passion and resurrection from the day. This announcement was very unsettling for the disciples and apostles. I never like that of the transfiguration will be built up, will be welcomed in order to better live the passion that is approaching on its way to Jerusalem. The transfiguration is supposed to serve positively as a stabilizing element for their fate. It was very difficult. The history of passion will teach us the opposite abandonment, denial and flight decouragement. John and the Virgin Mary and some women make the exception. The transfiguration is an anticipated glorification. Jesus manifests himself in his glory even before he sacrifices. He prepares the trio for his recently announcement passion in order to prepare them to overcome the scandal of the cross by showing them his glory by anticipation. The transfiguration helps to interpret the resurrection of Jesus. It introduces us to the deep knowledge of the Paschal mystery. It is like on light of their initiation, our initiation, an experience which should make them witness of hope and men warn in the face of the trial to come, passion, persecution, rejection, etc. So we could understand the one who will suffer is the Son of God and will be glorified as the Son of God. This transformation is what baptism in Jesus Christ make of every disciple. We will be transformed, transfigured in the risen Christ in his, his, in his glory. The scope of life after death is credible by the appearance of Moses and Elijah, who died century before the incarnation of Jesus. Better yet, the three apostles hear the voice of the Father designating their master as his beloved son. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Including the importance of such a visual experience in the divine world, Peter wishes to perpetuate the moment of happiness. It is very wonderful. In this work toward Easter, it is appropriate in our journey to remind ourselves of what is the art of our faith and our hope in becoming a true disciple of Christ. To be a believer and faithful friend of God is what the story of Abraham teaches us in this first reading. To be a believer is to follow the wishes of God which give, we give access to the wonderful the salvation. It is the blessing and the promise of a nation that is made possible. Our commitment to following Christ in this time of land must validate our ticket to our future transfiguration, transformation into the risen one. The true apostles are attached to this world that, the, that day and wonder what it means to rise from the day. 
to follow Christ is not waste his time, but to ensure his heavenly future, his future divine life. What to do? Believe in God, be a disciple of Christ, and listen to his word and live it. Abraham experience can become our become ours in the face of the trial of the life crosses etc. A leap in faith, a faith in climbing and carrying a mountain. It is tiring, it is heavy, but it is worth the effort because at the end there is the resurrection and divine life in God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, with a strangling step in the company of Peter, James, and John, we climb, we climb the mountain with you where you make yourself known in your deep divinity, in your celestial glory. Open our eyes to see the path of life and let us discover the voice of the Father above. When everything becomes heavy in our daily life, transform us into enlightened and transfigured by your Pascual light. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a good Sunday and a good journey toward Easter.